When Will I Read? by Miriam Cohn and pictures by Lillian Hoban. When will I read? Jim asked. Soon, the teacher said. But when, said Jim, you know what the signs in our room say, the teacher said. Please put the blocks back when you are done. Yes, said Jim. I know. Please put the blocks back when you are done. And don't let the hamsters out. But I always knew that. You can read your name, the teacher said. But that's not really reading, said Jim. The teacher smiled. It will happen, she said. Then she went to get the snack. I can read, George said. No, you can't, everybody shouted. George took his favorite book and told what it said under each picture. You only remembered it, Paul said. That's how reading begins, said the teacher. It begins that way. Anna Maria was reading to her baby in the doll corner. She could really read. Quiet, she said. I'm reading to you. But her baby would not be quiet. Anna Maria said, Oh, this is a bad baby. He needs to be washed. And she began to wash her baby very hard. Jim said to Willie and Sammy, Everywhere there is reading. There is reading about Smokey the Bear on the bus. There is reading on the Nutty O's box. Everywhere there is reading or writing, writing or reading, Willie said. On the Nutty O's box, it tells you to send for a little airplane. Yes, said Sammy, I did, but it crashed right away. Jim sat down at the table. He put his head on his arms. Don't worry, the teacher said. There's no hurry. You will read when you are ready. But when will I be ready, Jim asked. You are getting ready all the time, she said. Just then there was a cranking, bashing, clashing noise outside the first grade windows. Let's go, wa let's go and watch the garbage men work, said the teacher. The class rushed out to the playground. The garbage men lifted the big cans and dumped them into the truck. The crunching teeth ate up the trash. One of the garbage men winked at Jim. He said, how are you doing, son? Then the garbage men jumped on the truck and drove away, waving and smiling at the first grade. Afterward, the teacher wrote down everybody's story about the garbage men. Here is Jim's. The garbage man is strong. He is not afraid of teeth that keep on eating the garbage. He just smiles and says, How are you doing, son? Jim sat at the table reading his story. George and Willie and Sammy sat down with him. Jim said, I wish I could really read. A dog can read, Sammy said. No, he can't, everybody shouted. Yes, a dog can, said Sammy. He reads by the sniffs. He sniffs, and then he knows which dog came there before. But can a dog read the comics, asked George. Sammy and Willie fell down on the floor laughing. Jim was tired of worry, worrying about reading. He went to watch Danny and Paul and Margaret. They were being firemen, and their block city was on fire. Danny yelled, bring the water over here. No, said Margaret, we have to save this man. She and Paul began to put up a ladder. Hurry, Danny yelled. The fire is coming. It will burn the hamsters. He pretended to shoot water on the hamster's box. Shh. Jim came to help Danny. Then he saw that the sign on the hamster's box was torn. It said, 
do let the hamsters out. Jim ran to the teacher. Look, he shouted. The sign says, do let the hamsters out. They could get killed. <gasps> we can fix that, the teacher said. And she began to make a new sign. Then she smiled at Jim. I told you it would happen, she said. You can read. I can, Jim said. Yes, said the teacher. That was reading. You really read the sign. Jim and the teacher put the new sign on the hamster's cage. I waited all my life, said Jim. Now I can read.